Hello, Tab Nation. Welcome back to one of your favorite videos, for the most part, is a showcase, where I'm not really going to run through much of the code, just kind of a brief overview and how this program's used. Uh, it's just a way to throw out some scripts out there that you might find useful, but I've done videos, for the most part, showing you all the different things that are inside these scripts, so I'm not here to go through all of them. You can always watch those videos. This is a showcase video, and today I'm pulling from this website, uh, computeredge.com. This guy is great. He, as you see, this is a list of kind of everything on this page that he has, uh, I've done a video on the past on some of these scripts that uh, different various people have made. Um, I'll put a link to this, obviously, in the description so you come here and get the actual script. Um, so, yeah, we're going to show you a few of the different ones, uh, starting with a really cool one that I like called Easy uh, Command Prompt by Rajat, if that's how you pronounce it. I don't know, R-A-J-A-T. Um, but this is really cool. So we know Command Prompt. You can go in, enter some type of uh, command, spits out information or does something. But you have to open command prompt every time. The cool thing about this is it actually adds the ability of uh, being able to enter those commands uh, from your Explorer window. Um, so let me go ahead, uh, find that one, and run that. All right, looks like it's up and running. So now I'm going to open a um, new Explorer window. So right here we go. And the cool thing is what you do is up here where you have like your file path, you can actually type it there. So if you do um, a single uh, slash like that and type it out, uh, we're going to use ping, I guess, for the example in this one. It'll run it in the background, but if you want to visually see it, um, you can do double uh, slashes and then write uh, ping, for example, whatever you're doing. One slash runs it in the background so you don't even see it. Two lets it actually what we're going to see just for the sake of this video. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to push enter on that. And boom, it automatically opens the command prompt. And as you can see, it went ahead and wrote the ping uh, thing here and, you know, just spit out whatever command I wanted to perform. This is just really cool because honestly, opening this versus command prompt, it's slightly faster. And a lot of times I might be somewhere and, uh, yeah, it's just really nice. Um, so yeah, like I said, uh, check those out. Um, this one's called Easy Command Prompt. Uh, we're going to look at the next one, uh, Screen Dimmer. This is another one I think uh, people will find very useful. There's a lot of uh, uh, DLL calls in here. Like I said, I've done videos on that, GUI videos. So if you want to adjust this any way, just check those videos out and uh, you'll be Good. Let me find that one. Uh, where did I put that one? Sorry, I have a lot of scripts for this video. Here we go. Screen dimmer. So it's a pretty simple GUI. It pops up. Um, unfortunately, you're not going to be able to see this uh, happening because I'm using OBS. Um, so you're not going to see what's happening. But it uh, takes the default brightness, which on my uh, screen is 128. Uh, and yeah, and you just go dimmer or you go brighter. I mean, that's pretty simple as it is. Um, like I said, uh, it doesn't look like it's showing up on OBS, my recording software, which is fine. Um, and then also just a warning, doesn't always work on all monitors. Uh, it just depends on your monitor settings if it's able to do that. Um, it works very well, I find, on laptops. But when it comes to, like, I'm using a lot of times, like, TV monitors instead, it doesn't always work very well. And then if you want to reset because you can't remember uh, what the default setting is, you just click on this bar down here. Like it says, uh, check status bar to reset, or click, sorry. And you just click it, and boom, it just went back to uh, the default. So that one's pretty simple, um, but can be very useful. Um, you know, night mode, all that kind of stuff, you don't always exactly have... Uh, the ability to adjust the brightness as well. A lot of monitors, you have to like go into the settings and whatnot. It's kind of a pain in the butt. Um, so yeah. All right. Uh, let's move on to the next one. So this one is um, what do we call this one? Transparent windows. This is kind of cool for looking behind windows without actually having to minimize them and then maximize them again. Um, it's basically just changing the main part of the window to transparency, uh, but it keeps the bar like at top, so we'll see that here. This is done by uh, Jack Dunning, uh, so thanks to him. And uh, also, these are all, for the most part, seem to be on his website in version 1. 
Uh, I've done a video about how to convert version 1 to version 2 uh, scripts, so check that out. Um, like I said, I'm not trying to go over every little thing going on here. So let's launch this one. Uh, what did I call this? Transparent Windows. Make sure it's running. Nope. Come on. There we go. Let's not click it. Uh, so this one um, is going to be using the control and the left button. Uh, that, obviously, you can adjust to however you want if you don't like that combo. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to hold down control and click my uh, left key on my mouse. Um, that's grabbing the current Windows information. Uh, now I'm going to do control wheel up. And as you can see, I can change the transparency, which is super cool. Um, there was also, yeah, control wheel down. That kind of, you know, brings it back. Um, but yeah, this is just a quick way to kind of change the transparency. This is kind of useful, I see, in like gaming. You know, if I'm playing a game, but I kind of want to see something without it fully taking over that uh, piece of the section of the screen, this is really useful. But this is just a way to very easily adjust the transparency of uh, whatever is your currently active window. So that one's pretty straightforward. Now, kind of building off of that one, we have this one called uh, Win Roll Up. Uh, windows roll up this kind of does uh, a lot of the same thing where it's uh, letting you see behind uh, the window um, once again uh, you got some stuff like control z that's going to let you see um, your hotkey uh, so right there line 25 change it to whatever you want let's launch that all right um so let me yeah okay we're in good i'm going to push control z and as you see it just it's almost like minimizing, but it's not because look, the bar is still here. So we'll do that again, control Z. Let's look at it in Chrome, why not? So here's Chrome, I can do control Z. And as you see, the bar is still there, but the main part of the window is gone, so I can see behind, so I can just real quick, oh, I'm doing something, oh, uh, I forget the syntax, let me look. Oh, okay, that's the syntax, back to what I was doing. This is just such a nice, smooth way but, but compared to like minimizing, maximizing every time because I don't have to move my mouse or anything. I mean, you can have auto hockey does do that. I'm pretty sure I did a video about that also. But yeah, this one, this one's probably my favorite so far. Um, this one I find super useful for just real quick. I mean, look at that. I can even do multiple windows so I can easily see stuff and bring it back. Um, so I really like this one. Um, yeah, check that one out. Um, like I said, really all you're going to need to change is the control Z, um, to whatever you want, F1, you know, whatever. All right. I hope you guys enjoy all of those. Let me know in the comments below if you guys know of any scripts out there that I maybe haven't done a showcase for, or maybe you have one. If you go to my, uh, main page on the ch uh, channel, there's, a um, info thing i forget what it's called uh, it's like the last tab but it has my email in there and also my discord if you guys want to send me a script just let me know what is its purpose how do i use it and then obviously the script don't send an executable only a script and maybe you'll see it uh, pop up in a future uh, showcase video if this video gets 50 likes um, just because this is one of my more popular i usually say 30 but we're going to go with 50 um, just because I know we can get that. I'll follow up with uh, more showcase because they tend to be very popular. All right, everybody. Thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Pretty much my uh, normal right now is every Saturday I'm trying to release a video around 10 o'clock EST time. That's uh, East Coast US. Um, so yeah, but sometimes I throw out more videos in a week. Just depends on how I'm feeling. And I will see you all on the next showcase video. Enjoy.